I'm from California, but why is Madrid, Spain, my favorite city in the whole world? After traveling extensively around the world, I ended up in Madrid and I love Madrid for the sunshine, for the tapas, for the outdoor terrazas, for the lifestyle, for the friendly Spanish. There's a lot of reasons. There's the Gran Via, for example, which is behind one of our centers. And the Gran Via is an amazing pedestrian street with shops, all kinds of things. It's kind of like the central artery that runs through the old Madrid and it's very architecturally beautiful and there's lots of things to see on the Gran Via and lots of things to buy. Then if you walk on down the Gran Via, you go to Tem the Templo de Devot, which is an Egyptian temple. Amazing. What is an Egyptian temple doing in Madrid? Uh, well, it was saved in the 1960s from, uh, from, from Egypt, from the waters, uh, from a dam that was built. So here we have a beautiful park and uh, uh, right next to the Gran Via. Then we also have uh, in Callao, we have, which is part of the Gran Via, cinemas, theaters, nightlife, discotecas, all kinds of things. If you go to Alonso Martinez, the Plaza Santa Barbara, you have the outdoor tarafas, you have the square, you have the trees. It's a very beautiful, beautiful place to socialize and meet friends and talk about your day, about your teaching day, uh, even in the evenings. The nightlife in Spain and Madrid is absolutely amazing. It's the best nightlife in the world. There's traffic jams. So we have the famous traffic jams on Saturday at 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning because there's so much going on and everybody's coming into Madrid just to go out. And you'll be part of that lifestyle as well. You'll really enjoy it. Madrid is a very international city, and when you go to the Puerta del Sol, uh, which is ground zero for Spain, it's where um, everything starts. There's an amazing, there's amazing tarafas there. It's very close to the Opera. It's very close to the Royal Palace, the Palacio Real. You can walk from Puerta del Sol, which is a beautiful square, which contains the Madroño, which is the bear that is reaching up to grab some madroños, which is a fruit that's very um, endemic to Spain. You go to the madroño, a lot of people actually meet at the madroño, then they go out for tapas and beer or go to, go to tarazas. It's a meeting point. Then you would maybe walk towards opera, where the opera house is, which is maybe a five minute walk, it's very close. And from the opera then, there's an amazing Mediterranean food. There's um, a lot of different cafes, bars, restaurants where you can have the most delicious Mediterranean food you can find in Spain. And then after that, from the, Plata, uh, from the Opera House, you can walk across the square through the fountains to the Royal Palace. Right behind the Opera House is the Royal Palace and the gardens of the Royal Palace. And also, you can maybe stop and have a beer because in Spain it's very, very common to go bar hopping. You would stop and have a tap on a beer in one place and then you'd go on and go to another place. And the Spanish love doing that. So you don't stay in one place all the time. You go from one place to another. It's very dynamic and it's a lot of fun.